Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Wrestling. Our coverage of the sport continues. We head to Pennsylvania today to talk to a fine young man who currently owns a record of 114-0, and an undefeated junior. Now at 18 years old, he joins us in the Nike hot seat. It's Gavin Teasdale. Gavin, how are you? Good. How you doing? Good, man. I'm so excited for you. It sounds like you've got everything going your way, and I think so does the University of Iowa. They got you to commit to becoming a Hawkeye. How did all that happen? I uh, went out a few times, liked what I saw out there, liked the training partners, the coaches, Tom and Terry, great coaches. Couldn't ask for any anyone better, and it's just like awesome out there. Feels like home. One of your teammates, I understand, is going to be uh, uh, going to school there as well. He committed as well. Spencer Lee, is that true? Yep, that's correct. So both of you guys train at what, Young Guns? Yep. Okay. Isn't there another former Hawkeye in charge of that Young Guns program? Yep, Jody Stripminer, my coach. Did he have any effect on where you were going to be going to school? Um, no, not really. I mean, he just let it, you know, let us do our own thing, and um, wherever the chips fall, as uh, we please, he just stayed out of it, and wherever we felt was best for us, uh, that's where we went. But as far as uh, enforcing our decision. He didn't take a big part in that. He he just says, just go where you feel is best. Gavin Teasdale, our guest, a two-time Pennsylvania state champ, and doing it in a state where that's almost an impossibility, by the way, uh, and did it with great style and has done it with great style. You're a big-time point scorer. Do you like to score scores in bunches? Yeah, I mean, last year I was trying to pin a lot of people, but, you know, a lot of people, when I take them down, they'll try to, you know, belly out and stuff like that so you gotta work from there and score as many points as possible to do what's second best and scoring many points as I can and trying to get the tech and everything like that so yeah definitely just trying to score points and having fun with what I do it was last year I think wasn't it that you scored 96 points in your four matches at the Pennsylvania State Tournament that's correct 96 points uh, <laughs> that's an <laughs> average of 24 points per match yeah <laughs> That's outstanding, dude. You are so welcome in the Nike hot seat. I love it. <laughs> Thank uh, you very much. What, uh, where, where does it all start for you? Because you weren't, uh, you weren't a little kid wrestler. You started when you were ten. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't know. I just kind of like got into it, you know, school practice. Saw a flyer and just went out for my first practice that uh, Jefferson Morgan, the school I go to now, and uh, first practice I went to. I'm just like, I like this. It's kind of my sport. Just like individual. Don't have to worry about any team wise have to worry about a team or anything like that, just doing my own thing, getting better. You know, you're regarded, uh, you, uh, Spencer Lee, uh, Mar Marinelli, uh, are regarded as some of the very best recruits ever for the University of Iowa under Coach Tom Brands. Um, you've obviously spent some time around these guys, and you've watched them coach. What excites you most about coaches Tom and Terry Brands? Um. They're just always going, coming at you, attitude. They love scoring points. You know, uh, they always prevented guys from stalling in matches, the biggest thing. Uh, they never stop coming after you. They're just, like, always on the offense and never focused on the defense, and I think that's what my style is uh, like as well. So just straightforward, coming at you 100% of the time. Yes. So you're going to be joining some other recent recruits that have come out of Young Guns. You're going to be joining Kemmer, right? And yep. uh, Caleb Young. Yep. I think Young Guns is just like producing. There must be some magic there for Jody Strip Matter. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, the the practices at Young Guns are like similar to Iowa practices. Very tough, you know, mentally and physically as well. And you have all the great partners there just like you do out in Iowa. I mean, Young Guns, the, the partners there think like almost all of them are ranked in the country. So, I mean, that's incredible as well. You see guys like Mejia and Renteria. Uh, they're projecting out at 25 and 33 at your current weight. How do you, how do you feel right now at your current weight and what do you weigh today? Um, you know, it's awesome because I'm just going to like, go whatever weight I am in college, you know, uh, whatever Tom and Terry want us to go is the way we plan on going. And, um, you know, whatever is the best for the team wise, whatever is best for individually as well. Um, I think that's, like, the biggest thing right there, too. So, you know, just just letting the chips as they fall. So, I mean, whatever happens there, happens there. You know what I mean? Here's the best part about it, Gavin. 
as I see it. Uh, as Dan Gable always said, steel sharpens steel. Iron sharpens iron. It's a, it's 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 magical when you have guys that are are hunting for the same weight and they are helping each other get better along the way. But when you're competing for a starting spot, man, it gets ferocious. And right now, I'm looking at this thing going, hey, I'm going to be along for the ride because I get to watch you guys compete. The University of Iowa is one of the most legendary programs in the country. You feel that? Yeah, I mean, def, def, definitely has the most team NCAA titles in the country. I mean, Gable, when Gable was coach, who their team was crazy. I mean, pretty sure every year they had an NCAA champion, whether it's light, heavy. He knows how to coach a team, mentally tough. They were always, you know, good men on the mat, good men off the mat, always hardworking, whatever what they do, whether it's in the weight room, whether it's in the wrestling room, in school, anything. Just teaches you, like, how to, you know, live life properly. You like vegetables? No. No? Then why no. are you wearing a cauliflower ear? What's that about? Show me the ear. Dude, that's dynamite. Looks good. Yeah. Got a build. Got it last year. Got surgery on it twice. And I'm just like, I ain't going to get surgery again. So I just let it. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You know, you see a guy with cauliflower ears standing on the line at McDonald's or wherever you're at. And you go, that guy's been through a battle. He's been through the war. Gavin Teasdale is our guest in the Nike hot seat today. He is uh, committed to going to the University of Iowa and wrestle for the, the Brands Brothers. And I think this is uh, just the beginning of some very good things for a very ca- uh, talented class of 2018. You have two sisters and a brother. What are their names? Uh, Uriah, Carrington, and Nadia. Uriah, Carrington, yep. and Nadia. Now, yes. I, am I to understand that Uriah plays golf? Yeah. Yeah, my brother. Is he pretty good? Uh, he's not too bad. Just started last year. Just getting into it besides uh getting into the sport of wrestling. What about your sisters? What do they do for sports? Um, my sister does many different sports, but not too many. And my uh, younger sister is uh th- two. Tell me about how your mom and dad have been supportive of you and in what way have they been supportive of you in your quest? Um, definitely take me to practices. Take me to different competitions, get me the best uh, competition possible leading up throughout my years, getting me better. Um, always stay, teach me to stay focused in uh, wrestling, uh, not to fear anyone, just go out and wrestle. Did you, watch, uh, did you watch Oklahoma State versus Penn State? Yes, I did. What did you think of that? That was, that was awesome. I mean, um, just showed just two guys on the line, and the better guy wins. You know, whoever shows the most hard mental toughness at the end of the day wins the match. So, I mean, it was just great to watch in general. I mean, no matter any Big Ten team facing each other, it's great to watch. When you uh, sit down at the end of the day, do you assess what you did in practice? Do you think about it? Um, you know, I like I like play wrestling a lot because it gives me, like, the feel of different positions What because I'm going to eventually be there, whether it's, I mean, you can't go through like your whole career with a guy without being on your somebody being on your leg. You gotta be prepared in them positions, and what prepares you is uh, practice. So I mean, like once somebody gets on my leg, you know, every position, uh, being aware of you know rolling across your back, whether it's uh, giving up your ankles, whether it's scrambling, anything right there, you gotta be aware of every position possible. And I think what prepares you for that is just like kind of flurrying around in practice. Getting ready to head to Iowa City while you still got one more year to go of school. Uh, what, your, what what kind of classes do you like at school? Um, I like art. Um, I'm good at English. Um, history. Math's not my thing. Um, good at gym, too. <laughs> Ma- math wasn't my, my thing. Yeah, I would imagine you'd be pretty good at gym. <laughs> yeah can you, but how quickly can you climb the rope what's your record on the rope um at young guns in murraysville i can probably climb to the top i mean it's real tall i could probably do it maybe six seconds wow wow so and hand strength do you work on hand strength um not too much i mean pull-ups i do a lot of pull-ups so but i don't do like them grip things you know like them grips where you just like squeeze them right. i don't really do those or like focus on like my grip a lot What's your record on uh, pull-ups? I could probably get 40, 45. Wow. Okay, and how about sit-ups? Oh, I can do a lot of sit-ups. Do you love training, I'm like weight training? I mean, I 
train probably like twice or lift twice a week during season, but out of season, I could be anywhere from every other day. Um, just depending on like what my schedule is, you know, working around the events I have coming up. But yeah, I, I lift as much as possible, you know, keeping the strength up throughout the year, trying to, you know, keep my weight up and trying to get stronger. Carver Hawkeye Arena is a, an arena that is well known around the wrestling community. You've been inside that arena. What was your first impression of Carver Hawkeye like? Uh, just how many fans come to like a single event. I mean, there's probably there was probably more people there for um, just one home match of Iowa than there was for the Olympic trials. Just crazy to think about that. I mean, whether it's you know a team that Iowa's going to destroy, whether it's a one on one team, it's always going to be a packed house. You uh, you seem pretty excited about this. You are so goal oriented. Uh, it seems like did you always want to go to Iowa? Um, yeah, like when I went out there, I mean. I was always, like, around, like, the place. Like, I never really thought about where I was going to go to college. But, yeah, when I was out there, I liked it a lot. You know, Jody Stripmatter said, uh, described you, okay? He said, you've got yeah. it all. He said, he, he said, you're great on the mat, you're great on your feet, you're good offense, good defense, off the mat, incredibly uh, kind, smart, intelligent, polite. Does that uh, sound like he's describing you? Um, I'm not smart. <laughs> I think you are. I think you may be <laughs> fooling all of us. Gavin Teasdale, who do you want to thank, man? Because uh, we don't go through life alone, and we surely don't get to be as good as we are, uh, in your case, you, as you are, without people being there for you every step of the way. Um, yeah, definitely like to thank my training partners, coaches, everyone that's helped me so far uh, with where I'm at right now. Tom and Terry Brands have a great sense of humor. Are you ready for it? Yeah, definitely. Are you ready for the intense coverage the Hawkeyes get? Yes, yes, definitely. Gavin, it's good talking with you again. I really appreciate you taking the time with us here on our Skype video interview with uh, in the Nike hot seat. I'm looking forward to seeing it. What's up next for you? I'm um, getting ready for regionals tomorrow. It's going to tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, regionals, and then a week and a half from now, states. So taking it one step at a time. Looking to improve on that 114-0 and record, right? Yep. You yep. got a perfect season going right now, thirty-two and zero. Yeah. Add yeah. A, add a little more luster to the uh, to the cabinet. Another another trophy. Another another win. Another victory. And another uh, championship in the state of Pennsylvania. Gavin, thanks for the time. Thank you very much. For all of us at Takedown, I'm Scott Casper. Special shout out to our friends at Nike. Our Nike Hot Seat special guest today has been Gavin Teasdale.